And like you said, you wanted your side to give a good, good account of themselves today, and I guess with the point of one here today, you'll be pleased with what you've seen. Yeah, like we're fortunate at times, like we've just played the top team that will be right there throughout the year. Um, they were very dominant and we found it very, very difficult in the first half. Um, but you get your reward for defending your box enough times. Um, I thought that's the hardest we've had to work for a clean sheet. And they've had good chances in the game. They'll be disappointed they haven't taken one of them. The momentum that you have to defend against is, is huge at times. Um, but it's a massive point. Great clean sheet, major point on a day that is very, very tricky. And it'll be tougher teams to um, come here and get results. I know their home form at the moment has, has been difficult, but they, they, they should have won the games that they've played. You know, they'll say they should have won that one today. And uh, Top, top team. But I did think that we, um, we worked our socks off and in the end we're absolutely thrilled with the point that we've taken. I was going to say, if you defend the, the way that your side have done, especially in the second half, rode your luck a little bit in the first, but you deserve your point. Yeah, but you know, they had the chance, Waghorn's header in the second half, they'd have expected to, to take, you know, top players, but um, they're so good in 1v1 situations, so athletic, pitch is huge, make it really hard, um, the rain made the pitch rapid and they, we just couldn't cope at times with the distances, but we hung in, we worked, we worked so hard to plug gaps and, and things, we had to deal with some changes as the game went on, we, we, we made a few. Um, and we had some moments of control in the game, certainly at the very beginning, and they obviously broke away from our first chance, but in the first three or four minutes we put a foot on the ball and then they rush you into playing too big too soon at times um, and, and press with such an intensity, we, we probably didn't control as enough periods that we needed to. And when we got to the top third of the pitch, we overhit a few through balls and didn't create chances from those. So li little bits to learn from, but there's a, there's a fairly big difference between Cambridge and Derby at the moment, and we're trying to close the gap. We, we're certainly thrilled to come here and take a, take a point from the game. You're going back to the first time in 20 minutes in, Elias Kachunga has an enforced substitution. Two things, really. Firstly, how's he doing? Secondly, I thought John Kimani Gordon, when he came on, did brilliantly at both ends of the pitch. Yeah, so Catch um, got a bit of a dead leg in training on Thursday um, and he's felt his hamstring a bit as he was running through. So I'm not sure if it's linked to that or if it's something individual or what. We'll just see how that settles. So not, it doesn't feel or look so serious at the moment, but we just need to check in on that um, as soon as possible. And obviously we don't want that to be a long one because we need those options in attacking positions. Um, Sule Kai Kai picked up a bit of a knock in the last game which is why he wasn't available today a little tight groin so he's missing a week basically so uh, maybe Tuesday but probably too soon so we expect him definitely available for the Burton game um, so it just leaves us a little bit light in those attacking positions but JK came on and um, it's the biggest distance he's had to cover and the uh, the biggest minutes he's had to play so far and that was a tough tough game for him to be starved of the ball at, at, at times but gave us a good counter-attacking threat and looked to a menace at times in his attacking play against a brilliant fullback who, who was you know so athletic it was hard to get past him and defensively he had to do a, a lot of work today and he's and he's learning he's learning our style and our way of defending and it was difficult to double up on them all the time and cover the spaces but um yeah he's done himself uh, he's done himself well today yeah, one man in from the start today, Fajiri Okunabiri, just his second league start for the club, actually. He's quite remarkable considering the goals he scored, especially this season. Uh, a tough role for him this afternoon and, you know, lacked a bit of service at times, perhaps. Uh, yeah, but I mean, the first part of the game when we tried to slide down the sides and get him in, we, we got caught offside a couple of times first half, which we, we should do better with. Um, and a couple of his situations were good, but they lock you in really well, press incredibly well, so aggressive around midfield. Anything that dropped in midfield, the boy Fauna was just pinching it off Jack and Faye. Cashin had hold of him all game. Um, as soon as Gassan touches one of them, it's a free kick the other way, but you don't get them when you come here. So, um, yeah, it was tough because you just you, you get locked into certain situations all the time. Um, and then and his back to goal play was okay at times, a little bit scruffier towards certain bits of the second half before we made the change, but such a hard job for a 9 and 10 in that game because you're without the ball so much and you're so deep in the pitch, it's really hard to get attacking moments. So tough, tough shift for them. I said it to them both when they came off. Tough, tough game for them. And actually tough game for all the attacking players because a lot of the game was played in our box and in our half. And um, I thought the two centre arse um, were outstanding today. Trouble in the wide areas at times in the first half got caught out once or twice. Was that the thinking behind the substitution with Dribble coming on at the start of the second half, Mark? 
Yeah, we need more athleticism. We need a little bit more height on set plays. Um, Mendes Lang was causing us big problems, and, and Jibs is obviously super quick and a um, little bit more of a physical stature and 1v1 defending um, very strong. So that was important for him. That's not easy when you have to come in here and you haven't played lots. You've been out of squads, and then you're in at half time to play in a more unfamiliar position for you. But he handled that well. So, um, yeah, I thought the first half was a bit of a struggle for us at times. Um, and he did a good job for us, actually, second half, as did um, Adam and Gas when they came on. Gas gave us a real good security in the game and we just needed that little bit of a lift it's that sort of tipping point 65 70 where you need you need bodies to come in and freshen you up I thought they did that they did that well so the impact from players is different sometimes it's you know you're not chasing that game you're holding it really to try and stay in it and you might play for a moment and get the best smash and grab in the history of football but um, in the end you know we have to defend and see lots of moments out and we managed to do it and Will come and took a few crosses and the centre halves were blocking things and I thought George Thomas had a really good game without the ball and uh, as well probably his best so yeah really pleased with um, with the outcome I think if anyone says to you can come here and keep a clean sheet and take a point you'd would have snapped their hand off to be honest yeah i thought certainly defensively the second half you looked more comfortable as the game wore on you picked out george thomas there who i thought was was man of the match for your side he's he's had not only a good afternoon but a brilliant season and he's coming to the season he's kept himself fit and, and performing for you yeah absolutely and, and there's some serious competition coming in there as well you know Jordan back involved today he's close to being minutes on the pitch Adam's building his minutes up so leaves us really strong so players know they've got to be good and they've got to do well because it keeps the competition uh, really high but hopefully we get that balance of having a really competitive squad but a squad that are really happy for the ones that are playing and ready to contribute when their time comes we've seen that lots now um, and, and hopefully uh, he can continue to build on the level that he's given us because I'm really pleased with him. I thought defensively in the second half we got a bit more control in the end. It's very, very hard for them to replicate the tempo of the first half for 90 minutes. So to get in at nil-nil um, was a major thing for us. End of the day, Mark, it's five clean sheets in nine now. You've gone home with one of those point-scoring days that you talk about a lot. You'll be happy. No, we've dropped about three places in the table after a really good result. What's that about? Um, that, I think, decides what the table looks like at the minute. Like, the, the table's an absolute irrelevance at the moment. We're just in a period of collect points um, and, and get as many as we can as quickly as possible. So that's a major one for us today, no, no question. And, um, yeah, it was tough. Yeah, they might have won it. Yeah, we had to defend loads. Yeah, we could have had a bit more with the ball. Um, but what do you expect? You know, we come here and take a result. We're buzzing with that.